because I don't anticipate this Thunderous to live it. <gasps> we just did 50% to Cresselia. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC Series 7, I guess. Because <laughs> we're not technically playing Series 7 right now, uh, we're playing on the casual battle server, which unfortunately is the best thing we have to practice online, besides best of threes with friends. Uh, but this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new team that I'll be dropping the rental code for very soon, as soon as like everything is set and I have all the slides ready. But this team is centered around Reggie Draco and Whimsicott. I also have a Glacier in the back. Basically, it's a hybrid team between Hyper Offense under Tailwind and Trick Room with Glacier and Stack Attacka. So if you guys are excited for this video, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys more VGC Sword and Shield content for the foreseeable future, and we're well on the road to 20k, so all of that is greatly appreciated. Hopefully, I'll find some actual battles today. I'll actually skip through any battles that aren't with, you know, actually legal teams for the next format. So let's see what we have for this first one. It looks like that is a legal team. Someone is online trying to practice, so we actually do get a solid first match. And they have no fairy types, which means I can go in with this Reggie Draco. I'll actually go ahead and lead off Reggie Draco and uh, Whimsicott. And I'll also bring the Indeedee in the back. And it looks like their Trick Room options are pretty limited. I kind of want to actually not bring Trick Room and just go ahead and bring the Glacier in the back. Because it looks like a really solid Dynamax option versus this team. As soon as the Conkleder is down, they have absolutely nothing to switch in on that. And that's something I've noticed with a lot of early teams, and I'm guilty of that. They have a huge Ice Weakness. Like, there, there aren't many Ice types that are super threatening right now. But Glacier is definitely one to look out for. And honestly, like, I am guilty of that. My previous team, the uh, Thievil team... There is a major ice weakness on there, but if you play your cards right, you can get around it. The only thing is, it's it's still a very difficult matchup, regardless of who you're facing. If there's an ice type, you need to get rid of that ASAP. But yeah, no, this team is actually really fun. Uh, I'll leave a paste in the description for anyone who wants to try it out. However, the code won't be up for a couple of days. I'm thinking... Uh, for this team, the reason it's always safe to lead off uh, with Reggie Draco and Whimsicott is because if they don't lead off with the Rillaboom, I'm just going to take a free KO. That's the thing. And also, if they end up leading off with the Rillaboom, I can actually switch in my Indeedee and just go for the immediate uh, Dragon Energy, anticipating their fake out. So that's actually really cool. This uh, thing is speed crept to outspeed Feromosa under, under Tailwind. So yeah, it's doing a ton of damage. The choice specs makes Dragon Energy ridiculously powerful. All right, let me make sure my... Yeah, okay, I am recording game audio, just making sure, because sometimes it doesn't want to do that. I have a really, really bad capture card. Cresselia Thunderous. It looks like... Now, 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 hear me out. It looks like we're about to drop a massive Draco. And here's the thing. They could go for the for the Paralysis onto me, which would be very scary, but I think it's more likely that they actually just taunt into my... Um, I think it's more likely that they just taunt into the Whimsicott right here, trying to prevent the Tailwind. But it would go first anyway, so I think what I want to do... I think what I want to do is not set up the Tailwind, because they could be going Trick Room mode versus me. I'll just switch in the Indeedee on the off chance they decide to go for the uh, Thunder Wave into my Reggie Draco, because that is a major threat. I really don't want to take that. If they end up Dynamaxing the Thunders, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really upset with myself, because I just honestly threw the game there. Or actually, Dynamax and Thunderous is such an interesting option. I don't think they're going to go for it. I, I just don't see it happening. If they do, though, like I, it would literally just be to to eat the Reggie the Reggie Draco Dragon Energy. But I'm so excited to drop this move. I don't think there's a way we don't drop the move right now. Then again, every time I try to get a Pokemon in the thumbnail for uh, marketing purposes, it's literally just like, nah, nah, you're never going to get to use this Pokemon. All right, let's get in the Indeedee. As the Psychic Surge goes up, hopefully that'll block like a Thunder Wave or something. There's the Swagger. We actually get to block that. That's phenomenal. Icy Wind. I don't mind that too much. We're going to be taking a bit of damage, but this is still going to be really, really big. Yeah, we're, we're still at like pretty much nearly maximum HP. So this is going to be doing a lot of damage. Dragon Energy. Let's drop this. This is Choice Specs. I don't anticipate this Thunderous to live it. We just did 50% to Cresselia. Oh my god. Well, more than 50%. That was so much damage. And I can also follow me away the next hit. And the thing about Reggie Draco is it's a really good Dynamax option. Uh, because when you double your HP, it's very difficult to one-shot. And on top of that, Dragon Energy turns into 150 base power once again. 
That did so much damage. I'm so happy we got to get that immediate damage off. There's the Landris. I'm actually just going to go ahead and follow me away the hit. Uh, Landris should not live this. And I actually... Mm, I think it's time we Dynamax. I think I'm going to Dynamax my Reggie, my Reggie Draco to just destroy this Landris. So we'll do that. Uh, there's no way Landris takes this hit. No way. Uh, and also follow me away the attack because I'm pretty certain they're going to go ahead and try to uh, like max Airstream or something. And by follow, follow me... Yeah, follow me-ing... Is that even a word, follow me? By going for the follow me, it'll redirect any attack into the NDD, and I am running bold max defense, or actually relaxed max defense, because I wanted zero speed on this thing. So that should allow us to uh, eat the hit. Unless it's like Life Orb Landris, but if it is Life Orb Landris and they end up just, you know, attacking into us, I think they're going to take enough where the uh, 150 base power max whatever is going to be doing way too much to them. Max Wormwind, max whatever, 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 it's, it's, it's max whatever. By the way, guys, why don't you do me a favor? Comment down below, which of the two Regis do you like? I understand that Reggie Alecki is objectively the better Reggie for competitive just because of that insane speed control and the fact that every electric move has a choice item on it, pretty much. Uh, but I really like Reggie Draco, just design-wise. I enjoy it. However, I feel like they could have gone above and beyond when it came to animating this guy. Like, look at Reggie Alecki. He's all bouncy and stuff. He looks adorable in-game. And Reggie Draco, it only really looks cool when it's attacking. Because look at him right now, he's like, oh yes, I am an upside down Charizard, thank you. Okay. Let's see if they end up going for Earthquake. Regardless, I'm going to KO this thing. There's the Rock Slide. Ooh, big mistake, bud. Big mistake. There's the Thunder Wave, I'm fine with that. I don't really mind Indeed getting paralyzed as long as I get to keep my Reggie Draco. And I think we're about to KO this, uh, this Landers right here. Ooh, okay, it lived. That's fine, though. I think that's fine. That's honestly perfectly fine. As long as we've removed this Landers from the field, uh, we didn't really lose much here. And especially since I still have uh, Glacier in the back, uh, I think we're in a good spot. So what I'll actually do here is I think I'll allow Landers to take the hit. And I will... I mean, I don't, I don't want to get in that thing too early. I want to keep Ndidi alive for the late game. I'll go ahead and I'll sack my Whimsicott. I'll sack the Whimsicott right now. As they just forfeit immediately, they're like, okay, man, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. So we do take an immediate dub with the Reggie Draco team. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Tapu Fini makes this thing very difficult to use. But if you can remove that fairy type, if you can play smart, this thing goes in. Like, late game Reggie Draco is really good. And the thing is, um, like, I don't have too much speed investment on this thing, and I am only a modest nature. So I'm able to function under Trick Room or under Tailwind. It's, it's very flexible. As it looks like we are facing another legal team, so I will continue with uh, this battle. And, ooh, their Tailwind option looks really solid, but I don't think they have a way of stopping my Trick Room. So this might be a good game for uh, for Nieves there, my uh, my Glacier. And also, shout out to everyone who helped me get the Pokemon for this team, because I didn't have these Pokemon ready. Uh, so shout out to XTB for the Stack Attacka, and uh, shout out to Sus in my Discord for helping me with the Body Press TR, because I didn't have Body Press on my Stack Attacka initially. I had to go find that. Okay, so this should be a solid lead. I do have safety goggles on the Ndidi, so I can redirect away a Sleep Powder if they decide to go for that. And then the Trick Room mode just looks like it goes in. It looks like it goes absolutely in on this team, and I can still bring that Reggie Draco. I can still bring that Reggie Draco to do massive damage. Because like I said, it, Reggie Draco at 80 base speed, that's not too high. And how much speed investment do I have on this thing? I'm using my own spread that I, that I made in a video a couple of days ago. I think I'm like 92 speed. Which, with 80 base speed, you're still slower than pretty much every Pokemon. <laughs> okay, um... Regi Dra yeah, it's 92 speed. So the, the spread for Regi Draco is max special attack, 164 special defense, 92 speed. Umbreon and Ninetales. Okay, that should be a guaranteed Trick Room. And yes, they can set up the, um... They can set up their Aurora Veil, but I don't really care. Because Stack Attack uh, just destroys this whole team. Especially with Ndidi next to it. Like, what are they going to do? Are they going to Snarl? Because I know for a fact, Umbreon cannot knock out this Ndidi. It's got Garbage Attack. So we'll go ahead and we'll follow me. Just in case they have Taunt on the Umbreon. And uh, we'll Trick Room up. I'm loving this team so far, though. I've had a great time playing with it. And I'm really excited to drop the full analysis for you guys. But I wanted to showcase it today. Because, honestly... It's really hard to find best of threes, and I've been really busy, so whenever other people are available, I'm not. 
All right, there's the Aurora Veil. Perfectly fine with that, because we're still going to one-shot that thing with Stack Attacka. As they run Confuse Ray. Okay, sir, go off. Go off with your mad strats. I'm a little bit concerned about the... Um, about the Focus Sash on the... What's it called? On the Alolan Ninetales. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go hard into Glacier and click Gyroba on the Ninetales to try to KO it. If there's no Focus Sash, that's fine. I just don't want to Dynamax this uh, Stack Attacka immediately, because it would be pretty bad for me to get confused and lose my Stack Attacka from that. So we'll send in the boy. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Gyro Ball onto the Ninetales, and Body Press is going to be really useful late game for beating Umbreon. I need to PP max my moves. That's why I'm not dropping the Rental Code yet, because it's still not like maxed out on everything. You guys don't want to use an imperfect team. I'm just showcasing it for content purposes. So if they're smart, they switch out here. If they're not too experienced in the game, they're... Oh, okay. Let's see. I want to see if they switch out. If they're not too experienced in the game, they'll probably stay in. Because even with the Aurora Veil up, Jara Ball's KOing. Unless it's Focus Sash, of course. As it is not, and we get our Beast Boost. So we're going to boost our defense, making our Body Press even more threatening. There's the Confuse Ray onto the stack. That's fine. That's fine. My defense is higher than my attack now, so uh, even if I hit myself, it's not going to be doing too much, and I can attack with body press to KO things. And if their last Pokemon is Venusaur, or if they're one of the last Pokemon is Venusaur, I can just probably go in with uh, Dynamax Glacier. Am I pronouncing that right? Glacier or Glacier? Glacier, I don't know. There's the Venusaur. I'll go ahead and I'll stay in. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I want to be really careful because if they do actually have the um, if they do actually have a focus sash, they might they, like I, I don't want to have to like take an earth power on my stack attacka. That's what I'm saying pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Dynamax this Glacier. I'm going to go for this Max Hailstorm. I'm also just going to Gyro Ball into the uh, Venusaur because even though there's Hail up, uh, the focus sash will allow them one hit for free. So this is the safest way of going about it. We send out this big boy. I wish it had eyes, to be honest. That's my only that's my only issue with the design. I wish it had eyes. So they Dynamax this Venusaur. I am Assault Vest, so if they decide to attack into the Glacier, I should be fine. The weakness policy is not my Glacier on this team, it's actually on the stack attack. Just because I realized weakness policy stack attack is way too good. And also because my safety goggles was somewhere else already. Alright, we do get the gyro ball off. Do a decent chunk, so I think even with the veil up, this might KO. It's going to be really close. Yeah. Alright, so unfortunately they're going to live. That's fine, though. Is there weakness policy? Hello, sir. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There's the confuse rate. That's not fun. That is not fun. We still have a couple of turns of trick room, though. So I guess the only way we would lose is by getting fully paralyzed on or getting confused on both of our Pokemon. Okay, I'm fine with Stack Attack going down. And what I'm actually going to do here is I can send in my Reggie Draco, and I can just click Dragon Energy because we shouldn't be taking too much from the we shouldn't be taking too much from the Umbreon, and I'm going to be under speeding that Venusaur, so I should be able to go for this move and be perfectly fine. Unless, of course, they're like a minimum speed on that thing. In which case, I just lose to some weird some weird EV spread. Okay, so I suppose my safest play is uh, Max Knuckle into the Umbreon. Or I guess I need to get rid of Venusaur first. We'll Max Hailstorm, and we'll also go for this uh, powerful Dragon Energy. Let's see how much we do here. I want to I wanna see this Umbreon just get completely destroyed. I doubt I'm slower than the Umbreon with my Reggie Draco, but still, if he doesn't target into it, which honestly I hate Confuse Ray. That's such that's such an annoying move, and the fact that this game is now up to chance is so annoying. <laughs> I can understand someone using Paralysis because while there is a chance to fully paralyze, it's mostly about the speed control. So if uh, someone's using Confuse Ray, it's just like, okay, don't cheese me, man, don't cheese me.
He's taking his time. He's like, hmm, what will I do versus Big Horseman? As he max guards, that's uh, that's fine by me. Gives me another turn to possibly recover from this uh, confusion. As we just hit ourselves, that's fine. It wouldn't have done anything anyways. And he goes for the Confuse Ray. Again, what a surprise. Let me land this Dragon Energy. I want to one-shot your Umbreon. I'm tired of this thing, man. Let me one-shot the Umbreon with Dragon Energy. Okay, Reggie Draco, go off. Go off. He's taking hail damage still, so who knows? Maybe he'll just get destroyed by hail. I think there's still one final turn of Trick Room. As we take the Vine Lash, there's a lot of things going on here. Yep, one turn of Trick Room left, so I'll just go for that once more. And I'll lock myself into Dragon Energy once again, even though they can lower the they, they can lower my damage by targeting into my Reggie Draco. This is just the safest way to make sure I hit that thing. Okay, we get the Hailstorm off, finally. I, I, I am so annoyed by that Venusaur. <laughs> or more by the Umbreon. The Umbreon's so annoying. And the fact that we lost stack attack, it could be really bad, but we're gonna get plus one attack here, and I do have close combat, so Umbreon shouldn't be too bad. Chilling Nay, we're gonna get plus one. As it goes for the foul play. So unfortunately, he did just get. Oh, he just landed a crit. I was gonna be like, why did I do that much? I don't have any attack investment on this guy. So this is gonna do like nothing. Yeah. Uh, Draco Meteor is my best move now. Hail is over. And I believe we are still confused on uh, on our Glacier. So this could still be bad for us. This could still be bad for us because our Dynamax is about to end. I'm hoping that his final Pokemon is a special attacker. I forgot exactly what he had on his team. Uh, but I need to get Reggie Draco out of here if I want him to survive the turn. And I do have Redirection, which is really good. They send in Heracross. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, man. So I think my play here, unfortunately, I have to get an Indeedy and just sack Reggie Draco. That that's such an annoying team, man. Uh, yeah, I have to go for Dragon Energy and do like nothing to both of these Pokemon. Maybe I'll outspeed the Heracross. But I have to get an Indeedy here so I can redirect away a hit. Because I would not take a close combat very well. Not when I'm not Dynamaxed. See, close combats makes sense. Going to lower his uh, defense stat a bit. And because I can redirect away the next hit, I should be able to knock him out with just a regular Ice Skull Crash. Dragon Energy is going to be doing okay amount, I guess, to the Heracross now. You know, for a Pokemon at 0 HP. There's the Foul Play. And if the Reggie Draco does knock it out. But now all I have to do is KO this... Uh, I just have to KO this uh, Heracross, really. And he didn't do 50%, I believe. Oh, well, now he is. <laughs> I'm concerned about getting KO'd by that uh, Foul Play now. That's the real issue. I'm really concerned about getting KO'd by Foul Play. Because he's going to KO me with his Heracross, and then I'm going to get plus one, and then I have to take a, a plus one Foul Play. So, we are going to uh, follow me and hope for the best. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go for this Ice Go Crash. There's the close combat. If we live the foul me, if that, if we live the foul play, I think we win. But uh, it's gonna be really close, especially with Vine Lash in the field still. Oh, he's actually faster, so we just lose regardless. I'm stupid. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, the, the confused Ray strats were a little bit annoying. I, I have to be completely honest there. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, and on top of that, Reggie Draco did get confused on a decently important turn, I believe. So, that's fine. I, we, we still got to showcase the team a bit. 
So I'll go ahead and I'll forfeit this match. Unfortunately, we're going to lose to Confuse Ray Umbreon here. And, okay, we'll just run. Whoop, run. And uh, we'll go ahead and get one more match for the video. Hopefully, if I can find someone that isn't playing with, like, Ubers. Because that is pretty common in the casual. Alright, so we'll continue battling here. Let's change up the music. Hopefully a legal team I can go in on with Reggie Draco. That is a legal team! Okay, and they also don't have a... Well, they do have a fairy type, but it's not the scariest fairy type. This actually might be a good game for Cinderace, to be honest. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll lead off Reggie Draco and... Whimsicott. Because if they don't end up leading off with the... Uh, if they don't end up leading off with the Metagross, they're in a really bad spot. I think I have to bring Cinderace in the back as a possible Dynamax option. And my final Pokemon is probably going to be... It's between Ndidi and Stack Attack here because the Trick Room might be useful. But I think Ndidi overall is going to be the best. Sorry, I was texting my girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I mean, Metagross is a very scary Pokemon in this format, and I'm a little bit concerned about the Rain matchup. Rain seems really scary for this team. But honestly, I don't know. Maybe Trick Room was the play. But it's going to be really hard to get off Trick Room. Especially if uh, they have, especially if they let off with Rain there, because they'd be able to just to attack the stack attack with, like, Muddy Water. Alright, let's see what they got. They do end up leading off with the Seismitoad. Hmm. Let me think. I think I'm going to have to end up Dynamaxing Cinderace this game. What's Seismitoad's base speed? Let me check. I don't think it's that fast, right? 74. I think I'm willing to take the risk on just dropping a Dragon Energy immediately. I think I'm willing to take that risk because because if they don't switch out uh, Metagross for Pelipper, I'm still going to get a decent hit off. And if they do end up Dynamax, yeah, okay. Because, like, here's the thing. It's Choice Specs Dragon Energy. Like, I've done this attack to Metagross on Showdown so many times. It still does a lot. And this is mostly about removing Seismitoad, because I can Dynamax Cinderace to deal with that Metagross. It's not too difficult. G-Max uh, Fireball just does way too much to it. So we're going to Tailwind up. No Protect coming from the Seismitoad, so it's going to have to take the full brunt of this attack. And it is not a fun attack to take. Yeah, we nearly one-shot that thing. It's Yeah, it's Focus Sash. Okay, I was going to say, like, I'm surprised it took it. I was legitimately surprised it took it. And I actually want to lose my Reggie Draco here. That would actually be preferred because I can get in the uh, I can get in the Cinderace for free. Or actually, maybe I want to lose the Whimsicott. <laughs> maybe I actually want to lose the Whimsicott. Technically, there's the Hailstorm, so he is going to go after the uh, the Draco, which is fine. That's fine. Because uh, Max Fireball should KO this thing, especially since I'm Life Orb. As the hail knocks him out. And we'll get in the Cinderace. Hopefully no Pelipper in the back. If there is a Pelipper, I don't think it's actually going to save it since we're Life Orb Max Fireball. It's 150 base power. And I could always just double into it with like Moonblast to pick up any damage if I need it. He does have that Incineroar, but I don't think it's going to save him to be honest. I really don't think that's going to save him. 
What I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch in the Indeedee. And I'm actually going to go ahead and max guard this turn, because he should always target Cinderace. And if I get an Indeedee next turn, I can Helping Hand a max Fireball. So the whole point of this team, I guess I should have said this at the beginning, you pretty much always want to lead off with Reggie Draco if they don't have a, um, if they don't have a, what's it called? <laughs> Why can't I think of the word? If they don't have a fairy type. And by doing that, it allows you to get into a situation where um, you basically drop a nuke at the beginning of the match to remove uh, two Pokemon, hopefully, and then you just sweep with whatever other Dynamax you want, whether it's G-Max, or whether it's G-Max, uh, Cinderace, Max Deck Attacker, Max Glacier, they're all great options, to be honest. Here's the Max Guard, it'll make it so, if you decide to go for the, um, like for the Max Earthquake, if he has that, yeah, he does have Max Quake, so now, now it's just a neutral hit, which is really good, and I can Helping Hand this next attack, and hopefully that'll do enough, I'm hoping that'll do enough, so we'll Helping Hand. And we'll go for this G-Max Fireball. It's a really strong hit. I know we're in the rain. I know we're at minus one. But I think it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Regardless, I'm not, sure if he, I'm not sure if he knocks us out. And even then... Um, ooh, actually, this, this could be really close. Now that I think about it. It could be really, really close. He doesn't switch in the Incineroar, which is really good for me. Here's the G-Max Fireball. It is cut in half, but it's essentially a neutral hit right now. Ah, not even close. That's disappointing. Had to go for it, though. There's the Tailwind. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I should have followed Mead. Here's the Max Steel Spike. Uh, I mean, that isn't awful. Because I do still have Tailwind on my side. Glad I preserved that thing, actually. Do you think he's in range of Max Knuckle? Maybe if I Moonblast into it as well. I mean, he's going to go down this turn. That's the thing. Because he's... Yeah, he has to go back to baby form. Yeah, we'll Max Knuckle into him to... um. To get that back. He's at plus one defense, though. We still have... He has three turns of Tailwind. I have one turn of Tailwind. Ah, uh, this is really close. I think I have to Max Knuckle. As well as Moonblast. And I think he has to switch in his... Um, I think he has to switch in his Incineroar here. For the Pelipper. Ah, oh, nice. Got him. Got him. So doubling into that thing was the play because this will knock out, and we're gonna be we're gonna be back up at uh, minus one rather than neutral, or rather than uh, minus two, which is still good because we have high jump kick and stuff. And this combination move should do it. As we just pick up a crit. No, we don't. Okay, no, we we definitely win then. We definitely win then. Because we're gonna drop this max knuckle on him. We're gonna get back up to uh, minus one. And then he is in grave danger of getting high jump kicked. Especially since I have Protect on both of my Pokemon. I can just Protect this next turn to uh, stall out a Fake Out. And the next turn I can Tailwind high jump kick and probably win. Okay, so we'll go for the double protect here. I think the only way this could go really, really south is if... Um, actually, maybe I should target down that, that Pelipper first. I mean, Incineroar never carries protect. And Pelipper could be a huge issue, because I actually would have to bounce to hit it. And if he goes for Hurricane here, it's not fun. So Pelipper could win the game for him. That's the only issue. And I suppose I could also still miss. 
As he goes for the Scald, I would prefer him to Scald me than Hurricane, to be completely honest. How many turns of Rain are left? One turn of Rain. Man, I wish it was gone already. Let me Tailwind up. And I just have to land a high jump kick. And I have lost matches because of this. So I'm not even going to say I win yet. Because honestly, every time I say that, I miss the high jump kick. So I'm going to say I lose right here. I lose. I lose. Excuse me, sir. Why are you still faster? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're going to take some life orb damage. We're going to take some life orb damage. But I think we survive the turn. And then I can... Oh! <laughs> oh, that was scary. Am I at minus one speed? What happened? Is he Choice Scarf? This man's Choice Scarf Pelipper. No, no, he's not, because he Tailwinded. Is he? What? Hold on, I'm... Neutral speed. Neutral speed on... This man's Choice Scarf Pelipper! Okay, so I think we win regardless, and his Tailwind's up, so... Yeah, uh, Moonblast. And, uh, Bounce. Bro, what? <laughs> if, he, if he scalds again. Yeah, no, he gets two shot by Worms again. What is this? Choice Scarf Pelipper, dude. Boyce Barf Belipper. Or maybe I'm actually just stupid. Maybe I'm missing something. I doubt I'm missing something, though. There's no way. No, he scalds. Yeah, no, if you're scalding the Whimsicott, you're trying... <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Choice Scarf, Tailwind, Pelipper, the new meta. The new meta right there. Dang, that's crazy. They always run crazy sets, man. You always run into crazy sets. Yeah, we win. Okay. Nice. So, I feel like that was a decent showcase to the team. Uh, it was a really fun video to record, to be honest. I'm excited to drop the team for you guys in the coming days. Uh, and, yeah, let me know if you're hyped for the team. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, join the Discord, do all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.